Did you know that you can actually collect statistics on columns in your volatile table? So you create the volatile table, you populate it with your insert select, and then you collect statistics on it. What might you collect statistics on in a volatile table? Well, all non-unique primary indexes or non-unique secondary indexes. The unique primary index of small tables, columns that frequently appear in the WHERE clause, you know what you're going to do to query it, those WHERE clause columns and non-index columns used in joins, customer number equals customer number, and of course the partitioning column of all partitioned primary index tables that you might create with your volatile. Collect statistics if the table warrants it, and sometimes I've actually seen people say, that saved me hours. Teradata V14 collects statistics in a much better fashion. I've got the old way, pre-Teradata V14, and there you had to collect statistics individually. Hey, I want to collect three different things on this table, statistics-wise. You do it the first time, collecting one of them. Then you do it again, collecting the second time. And then you do the third one to collect the third column or index. And it did full table scans each time. It never made sense to me. I love what they're doing with V14. In the V14 way, we collect statistics, and I can do all of the statistics at one time, one pass of this. This is a huge advantage and even more reason for you to collect statistics on volatile tables. The greatest gift of all that you can give yourself and your company is the gift of the Nexus Query Chameleon, the query tool of the future. Hi, this is Tom Coffing. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please hit subscribe to make sure you're kept up to date on all our videos.